Hello everyone, welcome to Matt's Top Tech. Today we're going to be putting together a budget build PC. We're going to be using this for a bit of video editing, a bit of gaming. Here in the UK right now, it's a really good time to be building your own PC. Parts have come down massively since last year. RAM's literally half the price it was last year. Graphics cards have also come down. We're going to be using the mid tower. This is the Bolt, which is a mid tower from Aerocool. Nice budget tower that comes in at around £35. It's got a nice RGB light on the front. It's also got a window on the side so you can see everything inside. We're going to be using the Ryzen 5 2600. Really good price at the minute, about £140. We're going to be using the B450M Steel Legend from ASRock. We've got a 256 gigabyte SSD we will be upgrading it but just for this build just to show you guys um, it's nice and cheap around 40 pound now for an m.2 we've got the ballistics 3000 DDR4 RAM this comes in at about 80 pound now we've got a 500 watt bronze certified power supply from AeroCool that's semi-modular and we've got the Radiant RX 580 graphics card. This is the one from ASRock and this is this is around £180. So for those of you who haven't built your own PC before, it's relatively easy now. It's really straightforward compared to what it used to be. The CPU on the Ryzen side, it's very easy to install. There's a little triangle on the chip and then that lines up with a chip on the motherboard and then there's just a small lever to lock it into position just make sure the chip doesn't wiggle about so depending on what cooler you're going to be using Ryzen chips do come with their own CPU cooler and either more than enough for what you'll need Unless you're going to be overclocking quite a lot, then I would recommend getting a, a better cooler. But if you're just using the Ryzen one, you can go ahead and fit that now. It's not going to get in the way of installing your RAM or anything. Some of the others might, so just bear that in mind. To secure it down, there's just four screws, one on either corner. Um, you can't really go wrong. Just tighten them up till the screws stop, but do it in a cross um, formation so you get even distribution on both sides click the ram in place like so nice and easy the m.2 slides in on an angle push that down and screw that into position and then that's the majority of it put in so now you can go ahead and actually install it into the tower Sometimes it's a good idea to do um, just a pre-run, just plug the power supply in, just make sure you get a boot and we know everything's compatible. Then get it in the, in the tower, get everything plugged in. Make sure you support the back of the motherboard while you're plugging stuff in because you can damage the motherboard. And then once you've got everything in, get everything cable managed, get them cables nice and tidy. This case has a good amount of space on the back, so there's plenty of room to uh, move stuff about. Just try and tidy it up. Most cases come with some tie wraps, so I'll just use them that have been provided. Then that's it. Power it up, get your USB stick, download um, Windows. You will need another computer to download it to the memory stick. Put it in the new system. Um, as you're booting up, you can prompt it where to boot from um, and select the, the USB stick you've put in boot it from that and just follow the instructions nice and easy enjoy guys <laughs> 